Hey folks, how's it going? Easy Jeezy here. We're uh, at the chill plant today. Our little adventure is going to be uh, doing some work on a pump here. And this is the old motor that started it all. Uh, somebody had used uh, some uh, plastic wing nut type uh, connectors on this electrical box on the wires and uh, one of them shorted out and single phased the unit and uh, burnt it up so you want to be careful you shouldn't use wire nuts like this on on this is a 30 horsepower motor you probably should have used lugs and uh, some good compound but it did last for uh, well, probably at least a decade so that says something too so at any rate, uh, let me show you the where this came out of, and a couple of little things I thought were interesting to share. We've worked on these pumps together before. Uh, okay, this is the impeller that was on that pump. Uh, it goes to this sand filter here. It takes water from this sump, pulls it up, goes in the suction side of the pump, and part of it goes in the, through the sand filter to filter out the crud, and the other part of it goes back down into the sump, and there's two uh, long manifolds, I don't know if you remember those from a previous video. It stirs up and agitates the dirt that may settle to the bottom of the sump, so that it gets picked up and, and taken out. Now, what we found, uh, a little story unraveled. Look at how this impeller that was on there, this is cavitation. This is uh, actually, when you have a, a low suction situation, it actually creates an explosion and it destroys uh, the pump. And you can see the difference between this uh, old impeller and the new one, the replacement for it. We uh, decided to just get a whole new motor, seal, and impeller. So to the tune of uh, like 4,500 bucks. It's like 30 horsepower. And uh, I just thought it'd be interesting to show you uh, a week or so before this actually happened, where the motor burned up, coincidentally, we noticed some pressure readings that we didn't like here. We couldn't get this thing to catch. What had happened was the foot valve at the bottom of this uh, drop had uh, broken apart. There was a spring in it. It's kind of like a check valve. Basically, it is a check valve and it retains the water level in this section of pipe so that when you start the motor it has water right there then it can pull from out of the sump uh, but what was happening is the water level was dropping down and it couldn't pull it up and it was running basically dry uh, the operator did catch that when they tried to start it because we have to manually start and stop this pump with uh, Depending on the chiller situation. So uh, he shut it down before there was damage done to the seal We re drained all the water out of the sump found that problem corrected it and then a few like a week or so later we noticed that the uh, uh, Motor it just it just shut down. Uh, it burned up, uh, and the mo the wires you can see. I'll show you the the whole scoop here. Here's the here's the wires, and you can see how this is just this is melted back, got real hot, and shorted out inside of the case. So we're going to replace, put all new wire in here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get the pump set and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, have electricians come in and pull new wire and, and uh, get it back online. So anyhow. 
anyhow, uh, just wanted to share all this uh, with you. Maybe it'll help somebody who's got a situation or a problem where they're working. And uh, don't run into this stuff too much in a, in a residential situation. Maybe a, a farmer who irrigates fields and uses pumps from a well or something, maybe a lake, you know, might run into a situation like that. So anyhow, uh, we'll uh, turn you off here for a little bit and uh, I'll show you how we put this thing together. Here's the new motor and uh, what I got to do is heat this uh, brass sleeve up and put an o-ring on, put that on the shaft and then put the seal into that housing there and start putting it all together and uh, we'll get it ready to go. So uh, hang in there. Well, just getting started here and uh, got my first aggravation. I was gonna start up the oven and uh, evidently the last person who used it had trouble with it. The switch seems to have gone bad or something's loose, so I gotta take it apart and fix it before I can use it. And it seems like that's almost the norm when you uh, work with a large group of people with the same tools. I've decided, in addition to heating up that brass sleeve, and this is, you know, people always ask you, hey, how do you know what to do? How, how have you done this before? Uh, Sometimes you, you have, but what I'm going to do, and this is the best way, something that's a boat anchor like this, I'm going to try to take that old sleeve off. So I'm going to put it under tension, and then I'm going to take this torch and heat it up and see if it'll uh, pop loose. I know it's been on that shaft for a long time, but uh, if I do have to uh, have trouble getting that other sleeve on and need to pound on it. I, I thought I could use this old sleeve uh, to beat on. Uh. Alright, so fire up the turbo torch. Just try to heat it evenly. Sorry about that. Got quite a bit of tension on it. Heat rises. I gotta set you down. Alrighty, sorry, I needed two hands to uh, to work that thing. And uh, there is the O-ring that came in the new, or like the one that came in the new kit. I wasn't sure where to put it. Now I know that uh, I was on the right track. And uh, so by taking the old one apart, learn something. A lot of times on this commercial stuff, it doesn't come with real detailed instructions or they're written in such a manner you can't understand them. It's uh, just one of those things. You just kind of feel your way along. So, okay. All right, the new one's in. Not a lot of drama. I gotta wrap this thing up. That was pretty straightforward stuff, just assembling it and uh, getting the base in and uh, electrician's got to order some wire, so uh, I don't anticipate any issues, but uh, if there is, I'll be fair and post them up as a part two or something. Okay, it's the next day. Let's go check our pump and see what we got. 